the rabbits around their exercise pens. And Duke is strutting his stuff around the farm. Oh, you guys, it looks like we have our first casualty of the heat. Oh, it was a hot one today. That's what happens when it gets so hot. It's just hard to keep the animals alive. So I was running the sprinkler in here earlier just to cool it off because heat index was 110 today. It could also be coccidiosis comes in the springtime and it, it's a parasite that can infect the intestines of the birds and then when the heat hits they're too weak and they can't keep up so I'll probably treat the whole flock for coccidiosis um, I'll show you how I do that all right sad day lost one so this morning I noticed that Bonita's comb is really hot to the side I mean, she's got a really big comb because she's a Menorca but um just isn't looking good so definitely want to treat everyone for coccidiosis all right go ahead so what is coccidiosis coccidiosis is a parasite that every chicken owner should know about and what it is is it's in your soil it's transmitted by wild birds or it can be transmitted like on the bottom of your shoes when you go from one farm to another um, and it is in the soil and there's nothing you can do about it but it's harmless most of the time it's an oocyst it's a um, capitalized egg and it only pops open during good conditions for it like wet warm spring weather which we've had a lot of this June so it pops open the chickens ingest it and it multiplies in their gut and it it damages their gut lining so that they can't absorb the nutrients from their food they can't digest their food properly so and usually the chicken dies of a secondary infection like um, bacteria gets in that gut that leaky gut lining and or they can get another disease respiratory disease that usually kills them they just get weaker and weaker and they start losing weight and then they'll usually pick up another disease that kills them so no fun coccidiosis I hate it so this is a prime time for it because the it probably came in the springtime chickens ingested it and then when the hot weather comes in, you know, they can fight it off for them. When the hot weather slams in, it is just brutal for them and they start to weaken and then they can die. So what are the symptoms? The symptoms of coccidiosis are listless. Um, if you see a chicken going off by themselves, kind of isolating, um, you can see diarrhea or blood in their diarrhea, but I've never been able to see that and um, it's not always there, not always present, and they, they can die pretty quickly, and then the rest of your flock can start to die. Um, they can build up resistance to that certain form of coccidiosis, but then there are different forms. So if somebody visits your farm and brings another form onto, their, onto your farm of the parasite, then they might not be immune to that. So it's, it's a little bit tricky that way. So and also birds will hide their symptoms they know that the, the flock will pick on them they take out the weakest survival the fittest that's what chicken flocks do so they're gonna hide any weakness or any sickness as long as they can possibly hide it and so you don't usually get much warning before death but it's easily treatable and um, some chicken owners I know after a period of the warm wet weather spring weather they go ahead and just treat their flock and then they know they're going to go be going into the hot weather um, strong. But I, I don't do that. I just if I have any problem, then I'll treat. Chicks are especially susceptible to it, so that's kind of sad. If they just don't grow, or yeah, if you have a chick start to die, 
then you want to treat absolutely right away. A lot of people will say they don't want to give medication to their chickens, they want to use herbs, and that's great, but herbs will not fight coccidiosis. In my opinion, it is they're not strong enough to fight coccidiosis. Um, and a lot of the reason behind it is people say, well, the animals can become immune if they use these medications. They can build up a resistance to the medication and make the parasite stronger that way. And in the this case of coccidiosis, that is not true. What the medication is doing is it's restricting a B vitamin that the coccidiosis needs to multiply and survive. So all you're doing is restricting that B vitamin. And then when the treatment is over, you're giving it back to the chicken. So it, they can't build up a resistance to the medication. Let me show you how to treat your flock for coccidiosis. We have two more broody hens here, so they're gonna talk to us while we're filming. So the way you treat for coccidiosis is pretty easy. You use Emprolium, which you see for yourself, in the brand name of Corid. And usually I use the liquid solution. I think it's a 9.6% solution. So, um, and if I'm using the liquid, I use one tablespoon per gallon of water. But right now I happen to have the powder kind. It's a 20% solution and when I'm using the different concentrate of solution I use a half a teaspoon per gallon of water this is the way I do it and um, I will just give my chickens this for five days and then I will stop treating for a week and then we'll start treating again for five more days just because of the life cycle of the parasite. So I'm going to start right now with these broody girls right here. <laughs> so it's just kind of a pain to water this way for about five days, but then, you know, it's worth it. The Chicken Chick has a great article on coccidiosis. If you want to see this in writing, whenever I'm dealing with disease and instructions for measurements, I always want to see it in writing. So she did a great article on it, and I'm going to link up to that in, in the description so you can go check that out. Well, I hope your birds are healthy, and I hope I don't have any more deaths. I hope I've caught this in time, and this can help my girls get through these hot, hot summer months. Bye, you guys. Happy homesteading. I will leave a link also for Corrid uh, so you can go get it on Amazon. When you see a chicken die, what you don't want to do is have to then order it and you're three days out from getting it or, you know, I don't know, nowadays Amazon can be overnight. <laughs> so, I don't know, but you definitely, I would keep it on hand if I were you. That way you can just start treating right away.